anyway, um, you know what? I'm going to make... I know that there's some pinks in the chat as well. We're going to make this uh, purple pink. So team purple and pink are together. There you go. That, there is, that, that fixes all pink versus purple problems. Seems to be the random last team, so... Yeah, welcome to the Oregon Trail. We are going on a little adventure. The Killer Nacho... You know what? Nah, I'll be an adventurer. Um, let's randomize most of this stuff. Here we go. Random.org. Everyone has Jinx. It's no accomplishment. That's true. Alright, uh, 1 through 15. I think there's like 15 occupations. 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to be a blacksmith. Traveling in the first month in the list, which is February. Um, going to get some early cold, but it does mean we're probably not going to hit winter towards the end, which is when it's really deadly. Um, always remember the booze. Naturally. We're gonna start in 1850. We have one of four places we can go to and come from. So we're gonna go to St. Joseph. I rolled a two. Uh, can you even see the randomizer? No, you can't, but whatever. Y'all take my word for it. And we're going to Sacramento, which I hope is not bugged. Um, sometimes the Sacramento run gets a little bugged, I've noticed. Uh, but hopefully not this time. Oh, right, and we still need to get your guys' ages. Team Red, age... 40, you know, let's make, leave this up to random, oops, leave this up to random.org as well. It's basically from 5 to 65, and we'll round if it hits different age. 15! Team Red, you're age 15, there you go. Um, 25 occupations? Oh, is it really? Oh, well, well let's go re-randomize the occupation then. Oh, god. You just made it harder on me, damn it. Uh... So that'd be the fifth from the bottom? Taylor? Alright, we'll be a Taylor. Yeah. Oh, god. Screw you and your knowledge. Okay, uh... <laughs> Team Blue, age 40. $600 cash. No, I'm getting a large farm. Oh, god. Well, that's, that's like less than a teacher, isn't it? No, I guess not. I'm a Taylor, guys. Now I'm a Taylor. Changed my ways. Alright. 38. Team Blue, you're 40. You stay 40. Uh, Team Green, you're age 35. Oops. This is uh, Oregon Trail 2, Ender. Uh, it is an old, old game. Uh, Team Yellow, you are age 10. And finally, if you are on Team... Uh... Perk. Team Perk. Perk. Mm. Team Perk. There we go. Uh, let's see what age you end up being. You're going to be one. Literally, the youngest you can possibly be is age five. So there you go. Should you change your color? Right now, you're on Team Blue, Enter. If you do not want to be on Team Blue, you can absolutely change your color. Uh, I always remember the booze. Team Punk. We'll go with Perk. Anyway, I guess we're traveling on the trail now. I'm a tailor. It's come to St. Joseph. Hooray! Are we gonna die? Hopefully not. But you never know. There's the party health. Or I just have children. Maybe. Okay, so. I don't want to trade yet. And I don't want to buy your crap. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of money, so let's go ahead and buy some essentials. First of all, the grandfather clock eats up 61 of our dollars. Gonna sway away from the bacon, I think, and uh, get that stuff instead. I think it's a little bit cheaper, and the salt pork. Um, let's see, some vinegar, some tea. For Fulham, he's gonna ask for it anyway. Uh, saleratus. Uh, I don't even know what else. What else do we need, guys? Lard. There we go, got some lard. Yeah! Not gonna buy all the lard this time. Um, because that would be suicide. Uh, Drugs. Let's get some drugs. Uh, teams at age 5, 10, and 15. We definitely have some children in this run. Separated by 5 years each. Banjo and chickens. 
I will try to save some money for that. But uh, we are a tailor, so we're kind of poor. Uh, we can't be salty without the salt. That's definitely a thing. Um, I'll buy some salt from this guy if I can. I know that this guy sells salt, so we should be okay. Some Epsom salts. Here, buy extra amount of Epsom salt. Just for you. And some grease. And some other stuff. I don't know. Iodine and ice pack and this alcohol and all these wonderful things. Ammonia. Well, there we go. We can buy some ammonia. These are just medicines. Some of these aren't even medicine. I have no idea what they do, but I can't remember. be bothered to remember which ones are and which ones aren't. Now, we got 100 pounds of salt. Should be enough to be a little bit salty. Some soap, sulfur, thermometers, tobacco, turpentine, whiskey, witch hazel. There we go. We need oxen. That is uh, definitely a thing we need. You know what? We need a gun, too. Let's go get guns first. Or one gun, a rifle. Uh, th yeah, two things of bullets. No, sorry, three things of that and five things of that. There. Bacon, I concur. Do the victory, Canadians, over this uh, wagon with maple syrup and bacon. <laughs> Canadian bacon? No, there's no Canadian bacon in this game. Ten oxen will be as much as I can really afford. You want syrup, really? Ah, right, we can definitely get some bacon and syrup be like a breakfast every day kind of run. Um, get a hammer, I need one for reasons. Oh, Alright, we'll get you a hammer. Tools and utensils first, though. Let's go ahead and get some water kegs. Um, what else do I need? I need a pocket watch. No, I don't really, but I wanted one. Um, you guys wanted a hammer? You can have one. Um, what did someone else say? They wanted... Let me look this over. Uh, Hammer. Someone wanted chickens and something else. A banjo. There we go. We can get you a banjo. While we're here. Um, bacon is a universal thing? Well, I guess so. Uh, clothes. Right. We're starting off fairly early. Let's buy a small amount of clothes. Uh, probably not enough to keep you guys not freezing to death, but... Here, we can get some boots and some bonnets. Uh, oh, I bought a lot of dresses, so we're gonna be dressing you up as all girls. Uh, I don't care what your real... Oh, no, no, don't wanna leave yet. I don't care what your really gender is, you're wearing a dress, damn it. Because that's what I bought. Um, you will buy what I... You will use what I buy you, and you'll like it. Let's try for two of each bear wagon part. We're running a little low on cash. There we go. Done. Uh, we're up to just under 4,000 pounds. We still have some uh, room. Someone wanted chickens, so I guess I can... Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, nope. Don't want to leave yet. Where's the... Uh-oh. There it is. Someone said they wanted chickens. We will have eight. All right. Um, we still have room. Oh, nope. Still have money and still have room. So let me go to the main shop. And I'm just going to scroll through the list. If you want anything else, let me know. And I will try to accommodate. Only I think I've gotten all the important stuff. So... Let me know if I forgot anything important, too, for that matter. Money. We don't really have that. We have $66.03. A milk cow. Really? If, wait, I got a banjo grinder, don't worry, we have a- we have one. Uh, let's go to miscellany, fun things, like a fiddle. No, I don't want a fiddle. Guitar, though. And, uh, mirror. And some matches. See, I'll get you some matches to play with. It'll be wonderful. Uh... Did I get a gun and bullets? Yes, I did. A fishing pole. Alright, we can fish for some food, even though it never seems to actually do anything. Um... Got water kegs. Yes, I did, I believe. Candy? Oh, you children would want candy. There, we'll get 13 pounds of candy. I got some clothing. Not a whole lot of clothing, but hopefully enough. Hopefully enough. Blankets. That might actually help as well with freezing. I never thought about that, but you're probably right. Blankets probably help against... Oh god, those are expensive blankets. We'll buy three. They're like $2 each, which is like $50. You know, money these days. After inflation. Um. 
Sheath, we got the gun sheath, I want to say. I think I got a gun sheath. Uh, better check. I'm pretty bad at remembering that. Did I buy a gun sheath? No, I did not. There you go. Good, good, good job, Gavin. Blankets and stuff to hang ourselves, but clearly... 40 years old, oh, right. Alright. You're one of them. You're one of the older kids that we're bringing along. Remove gun sheath. No, uh, no, I'm good. I, I really don't want to shoot myself. Someone wanted a milk cow, which... Do, if we have enough money... We have 50... No, we do not have enough. We, I can get you a pig. It's kind of the same thing. There. You can't get you that milk cow, but I can, can get you, you a pig. It's close. I guess I'm just going to spend the rest of my money on food, because it's never a bad thing to spend money on. Bacon, there we go. Spending $18 worth of things on bacon. Never a bad way to go. We can go on train 1, 2, or 3! Train 1, 15 wagons, 46 people. 37 wagons, 134 people. Or 31 wagons, 108 people. Forty years of traveling and not creepy at all. Well, you know, my age is never stated in this game. So, I could be a kid as well. I'm just the leader, damn it. We'd be milking a pig. You know, pig milk, I'm sure, is a thing. Probably isn't nearly as tasty, and I see a lot of three, so three it is. Alright. Hello, friend. Are I believe you I'm already ready. Out on the trail for the new land? But I'll say That's yes. That's what we're doing, my folks and me. Wonderful. Our home caught fire and burned last month. And we lost yeah. pretty near everything. That sucks. Except our lives, praise the Lord. So we figured we might as well Praise go the with. Lord! I wouldn't leave with fewer than four draft animals. Really? Six or more would be even better. I'll have Take ten. plenty of food and clothes, and maybe a few... Oh, this guy knows, this guy. Don't this guy knows. Don't waste money or wagon space on much else. What about food? Yeah, I see that you are complete... Oh, you said food, okay. You know what? The grandfather clock. This guy does not understand the importance of the grandfather clock. I think we should cross the river now. Oh, well, if you say so. Hey, look. Nothing bad happened. I've been re-elected captain as well. I'll accept your terms. And it is extremely cold. What? Stop and rest in this air freezing. Yeah, you guys are... You guys are fine. I think it's time we be moving up. Well, I'm gonna get my gun. We're not moving around until I shoot something. I have a gun sheet, thanks to Gavin Hill. Oh god, there's a- Oh yeah! Look at that. Sniped that deer. Um, Ninja Cholera Hype. Hopefully not, although that is Frostbite. Team Green, you're feeling hardened skin. Rum- uh, numbness. Sharp wriggling sensation. We can continue, rest, slow down, increase your rations, gradually warm you, quickly warm you, or rub you with snow. What'll it be? Team Green. Da -na 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 -na. What'd you miss? Not well. You missed. Two I mean, you just came in now. You missed pretty much the whole stream except for this. But welcome to Team Red, Expo Zero. Snow rub. You got it. We'll rub you with snow. I'm sure that'll help. Lordy, I've just about had it with these rivers. This is the second Can't river, lady. Get back to civilization. Lady, you, you had a lot more rivers we're to go. We're back while we're still able. Oh, okay, you're going We've back. We've had enough. Yeah, I see. Ninety miles is all it took this lady to give up and go, go home. Go back. Ain't nothing up ahead but oh. disease, disaster, and death. Why do you My even come in the first words. place? You wish you had. Go, go, go. She's probably right, though. To be fair, probably everyone will die and. Red will get cholera. Welcome to the stream, Expa! You have cholera. Cold, withered skin, dehydration, drop in blood pressure, muscle and cramps, nausea and vomiting, sudden and severe diarrhea, and thirst. We can rest, slow down, oh sorry, we can rest, increase your rations, administer peppermint, laudanum epsom salts. Anyone on Team Red? What are we gonna oh do? god, what are we that gonna do? Like wildfire. It does, we man. Can't stay here. It's, it's in, in the, the water. water, even though the water's frozen. Um, I saw Shiko first, so they want to, they're gonna go with Peppermint. Sorry, Expa. You got beaten by like a millisecond. Anyway, this is Frozen. Um, what should I cross? Alright. Damn it! Oh no! Oh no! Guys, the grandfather clock fell through the ice. Oh, oh that's, that's worse than anything. It could've else could've been. Screw the, you know... 
Should be 150 pounds of dried fruit. That grandfather clock, though. Well then, let's clean up the mess. Okay. Died of some unknown ailment. W what? Um. Uh. Team Green died somehow. Now that you think of it, it was probably when he fell into the ice and got trapped underneath. That did him in. Well then. It doesn't even say frostbite though. It doesn't say drowning. It doesn't say frostbite. It just says unknown ailment. I've, I've not... I don't think I've seen this. Uh... Yeah, you'll get a proper burial. You died completely somehow, so... You blame gun sheets? Oh, there you go. Anyway, we're going to Oregon Trail, obviously. Finally on the Oregon Trail, and all, you know, all it cost was Green's life. Um, Team Blue, you are feeling a bad cold coming on. Coughing, fever, headaches, runny nose, sneezing, and sore throat. We can continue as usual. Rest, slow down, increase your rations, fluid intake, vinegar, or olive oil. About the only thing you can do for a bad cold is get lots of rest and drink Dr. Lots Lat of fluid. left my team. Oh, poor Tyler. Morale is high. We didn't really like Team Green anyway. So there you go. Fluid? Alright, fluid it is. And give you all the water. Anyway, the Narrows. I reckon this must be what they call the Narrows. Must be. At least it looks pretty narrow to me. Tell me more. Well, the trail gets so narrow here that the wagons have to go single file. Oh, really? On one side, there's a steep cliff. And on the other side, a river. I see. Not much room to spare. Do you have any other advice? I suggest we take it slow and easy. You just couldn't live here. without the clock. The that it must have been suicide. Down. That's what it is. You couldn't. You, so depressed that we lost the clock. Blue committed suicide, which was the unknown circumstances. I'm editing the diary. That's even better. That's better than what I came up with. Screw this. Uh, so upset about the loss of our precious grandfather clock team green committed sudoku rip all right there we go that's better does it even say anything in the diary about it we suffered a terrible loss team green have died of some unknown ailment uh yeah kind of um depression clearly anyway we are ready to go from these narrows who bets team red's gonna die well team red's doing fair right now Oh, gee, thanks, Yankee girl. I don't know what videos let's you're talking about, but... Going. Yeah, assuming you mean my videos. Anyway, let's keep going. Team Red has a bad cold. Um, so that cold is being spread around. First Team Blue, now Team Red. Uh, we can rest, slow down, increase your rations, fluid intake, vinegar, olive oil, or get advice for you. They better take care of themselves. Bad cold I'll go with Expo this time, since Shiko decided last time, so... Yes, it is Seppuku, not Sudoku. That was a joke, Expo. That was a joke because it's the actual call. The Japanese phrase for committing suicide for honor is uh, seppuku, but a lot of people say sudoku accidentally, and I've just gotten used to saying it that way as well. Um, Expo wants fluids, so you got it. There you go. Oh, well then, there's Ninja Collar for you, Team Yellow. Uh, Yellow, you're critical because of the Ninja Collar. Yeah. Ninja. Cholera. Strikes. Again. That I said stripes. I meant to say strikes. Rip. No one says it but that me. Yeah, I have. Anyway. Good game, Grinder. Rip by yellow. Well. We'll provide you a proper burial at the very Looks least. Like as good a place as any to lay by a day and put up some fresh Yeah, we're good. Our morale's still high. No one liked green or yellow. So, we're still feeling good. Well, no one cares about cold weather. The trail teaches you a hearty No one cares. Just lost two of our men. Not that we care in blue. Oh god. You've taken a turn for the worst. What did you even have? A cold? Team Blue, you're cold. Apparently is getting really bad. We can continue, rest, slow down, increase your rations, fluid intake, vinegar, or olive oil. What'll it be this time, Blue? 
Yeah, so far, Shiko. Then again, you know, every time it's going well, something terrible, string of terrible events. Now that we're starting off bad, maybe we can carry that momentum to California. Rest here a while, you got it. We'll rest for one day for you, Blue. Extreme cold. You know what, we'll, we'll rest a little bit longer. As long as it's cold, we'll rest here. There we go. Oh god, it's staying cold. Uh, I think we just rested for like a week, so you should be okay now. Strangers ahead, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna approach him. Oh, it's Philip Maddox. I'm gonna take out my gun now. Uh oh, wait, oh no! Oh, sh... We lost the gun, too. It wasn't in the list, because sometimes you lose supplies, it's not in the list randomly, but we apparently lost our rifle. That would have been a pretty good, important thing to report, you stupid game. But I don't have my rifle. So we lost the right... We must have. That's the only time I've lost things. Is when I fell on that river. And we lost Team Green, we lost the grandfather clock, and the rifle. Son of a gun. What's the point of a sheath if I don't keep it on the sheath? So apparently I still have that, probably. Where's my gun sheath? Eh, doesn't matter. I need a rifle. I need... A guitar? Can I hunt with a guitar? No, I don't think I can. A rifle? Or I'll even take a pistol. Pistol would be easier to trade for. Come on, I need something to... I, I don't have enough food. I didn't buy enough food on purpose. This is bad. Uh, well, I don't really need it yet, but I'm going to need it in a bit. All of my salt pork for the rifle. No. No, no, no. Oh god, I'm horrible at haggling. Apparently. A plow. I, I, you know, two oxen. Might have to go with that. You know, I'll keep the oxen for now until I need it to hunt. But, uh, yeah. You liberated it from the gun sheath. Naturally, you did. Damn Team Green. Getting us from the afterlife. Now, here's the South Platte River. Um, apparently frozen. And we got across this time. And there goes some dried fruit and things. Oh. Uh. Yeah! Yeah, that hill gave Blue cholera. Good job, Blue. Good job. You lost a bunch of other stuff, and Team Blue has cholera. Cold, withered skin, muscle cramps, nausea and vomiting, sudden severe diarrhea, and thirst. Well, yeah, Team Blue wants to rest. We'll rest for you for one whole day. As we get to the Windless Hill. Do I even have anything anymore? Oh, we lost all the gunpowder, too, now. So, so much for hunting ever. There's no way I can trade for a rifle and gunpowder. So, we need to go a little bit faster, guys. We're going to run out of food at this rate. Um, Anchor! Yay, we made it to Ash Hollow! Yeah, those hills sure were rough ones, weren't they? Tell me about it, Nick Tillman. These, whole, these hills, man. These hills were crazy. I had to unload pretty near half the stuff in my wagon to get up and down those hills. Yeah, we, we kind of did that too, although not on purpose. They kind of just fell out. We ought to rest for a day or two. I'm plumb near tuckered out. Oh, yeah? And I need to find me another couple of oxen. The ones I got are near dead. Know that, feel. Actually, do you want to trade well, Nick Tillman? Hills, we ought to rest. Well, let's, let's see what you got. Got an ox. You can trade me your dead ox. No, I don't want your dead oxen. You f bastard trying to trade me the oxen he said are nearly dead. You know what, bacon? I don't see how much bacon you got. 85 pounds of bacon, not for one ox. For the vinegar, though? Yeah, sure. I got some 85 pounds of bacon for vinegar. That's that's not bad. I'm gonna buy a... Sh going we did buy a sheath, Gavin, but we don't have a gun now. So it's kind of pointless. In fact, that's if someone neat. offers to trade for it, I'm done. You can have it. Buy the oxen. The oven? Oh, no. We don't need the oven. Made it to Chimney Rock, though. Look, it's so pretty when it's Let's snowing. Move. Apparently, no one wants to admire it. Oh, well. I think it's time we be moving on now. We can cook our dead comrades. No, we buried them. So, we can't even do that with their corpses. Do I even have money? I have six cents. Can I buy anything for six cents? Do I, can I buy literally... Nope, I don't think I can. Nope, four cents. A bottle of pepper. Yeah! There we go. We have a bottle of pepper, guys. We'll save this run. Laramie River. We should wait a while before crossing. You say that. It appears to be frozen, though. Damn it, I should have listened to her. Well, there goes more things. We're down to 2,300 pounds of things. How much fruit do we even have left? 
We have 106 pounds of salt pork. Uh, oh god, we are running pretty low on this food stuff. Well, here's Fort Laramie. Now we're gonna press on. The Oregon Trail beckons us. Alright, here we go. It's extremely cold, even in April, but we're gonna keep pressing on. It's gonna Let's have to warm up going. soon, right? Rest. No, we can't rest. We don't have enough food to last the trip. Anyway, Team Perk, aka Purple and Pink. Uh, your first real problem here. You have a bad cold, coughing, fever, headaches, runny nose, sneezing, and sore throat. We are a tailor, Expo Zero. One of the harder classes. I don't think it starts with a special ability and is one of the uh one of the uh lower starting cash you in the game. Team Blue is gonna die. Team Blue is feeling good, actually. Team Blue is fine. Team Perk, on the other hand, wants their fluids. You got it. Here we go. Fever appears to be frozen. Well, after this here crossing, it's goodbye Platte River. I hope so. This is the Platte goodbye, River. Goodbye Sandhills and Buffalo Skulls. Tell me more. According to my guidebook, now we've climbed the Sweetwater yeah. Valley. It crossed oh. the Continental Divide. It's south. This guy Pass. knows the stuff. Once across the Rockies, we'll make a steep descent into the Green River Valley. The land gets drier the further west I we see. go. But as long as we stay close to the rivers, we ain't got too much to worry about, at least not regarding water. So long. All right. Well, God, this is frozen. I'll. Uh, all right, we actually got through. Yeah. Another trading post. I can't Let's do anything stop at. Here a while. I'd like. No, we don't have anything to, we could possibly want. Immigrant Gap will keep going. Willow Springs. Howdy. Is it frozen? Names Jubilation. Knowing Hayes us, we'll go across it if and then too much a mouthful, lose everything in that pond. Julie. Jubilation. That's Aunt wonderful, Isabella. buddy. Isabella. Back talk home, to you all I so many times. That's that's great. We're gonna keep going though. Independence Rock, and here is Devil's Gate, which does not contain the Devil Child at least this time. She's uh, too cold, keep too back. snowy. You ain't a oh, is this asshole? No, shut Good up, guy. You folks. Shut up, Philip. Keep back. Oh, just people that are mean. I I don't know, Grinder, but uh, it's the least of our problems right now. Let's go with the Deep Sands route. How? Much quicksand could there really be? Well, here's the Sweetwater River, and apparently still frozen. And uh, Team Perk, uh, you've taken a turn for the worst. You're feeling rather poor. Coughing, fever, headaches, runny nose, sneezing, and sore throat continue to be your ailments. We can rest, slow down, increase your rations, increase your fluids. Can't uh, administer vinegar. I already traded it. Or olive oil. They'd better take care of themselves. Bad colds can easily turn probably use lard, yeah, or grease, worse. just regular grease. I don't know why I'd want to, but yeah. That's wonderful. Team perk. Olive oil. Alright, I think all three of the children were green, yellow, and uh, pink, purple. So all of the children are, the last child is about to die. They really uh, don't survive well on the Oregon Trail. Rip. We finally killed all the children! Yay! I believe red and blue are both pretty old, like 35 and 40, so... Yeah, we will provide you a proper burial. That's one way to get rid of your kids. Go on the Oregon Trail. If you don't like your children, you can make more when you get there. Um... Anyway, final Sweetwater River crossing. We will cross over the ice into South Pass. Oh, red is 15? Oh, what age was... Pink and purple, then. Uh, which one wasn't a ki was? Did we have all those children? I don't know. I don't know how much children we actually had. Okay, so red is still a kid, so we still have that. I guess. I don't know. If what you're saying is the truth. Time is a wasting. Let's get out. Blue is 40. I know that. I thought there was someone that was 35, though. But I don't remember. Whatever. Oh, here's Dry Sandy. I think we ought to keep going. All right, let's keep going then. Parting of the ways. Fort Bridger or the Sublet Cutoff. Uh. I'll just go the regular way. Um, cut off probably doesn't save that much time anyway. This river is frozen, so we will cross on the ice. It's still frozen, even though we're getting into May. It's a long-ass winter. On. Well, okay, we'll just keep moving on. Moving on, moving on. Fort Bridger, here we are. And we want to go to Fort Hall. We are going to California, not Oregon, but uh, the way is fairly similar. Up until a bit, and there's Austin Billings. Uh, 
Not that he's important. Back home, I used yes, to... you keep telling My me. Dad burned wagon what broke dad burned wagon? Took me pretty near all did your, did your dad set it on fire? What a dick. Anyway, um... We're going to Fort Hall. Uh, does the age effect score in the end? I don't think so, Expa. So technically, if you want to like get a good score, you should probably make all your people like age 25 or 30. I think those are the pretty the best ages. Green was 35. Okay, so green wasn't a kid. Red is. God, I have no idea. He's not the only NPC that that says that as some kind of uh, kind of basically means this damned wagon. Or I don't know if that was a saying back then. I have no idea. In fact, I think I commented on it in the past. We should wait. And I wanted to know what the hell that could possibly mean. But whatever. Bastard Hill, here we go. Maybe we can set up a windlass and use some ropes to lower our wagons down the hill gradually. Maybe. We could try that. Asshole. Oh, God. No, stop. Oh, no. Oh. Well, there goes everything else. 1,400 pounds left of things. Uh, we are running out of everything good to us. Well, now we're gonna have to sprint to California, guys. Oh lord, this run has not been good to us. I, I want fruit, though. I need fruit and veggies. Fruit and or veggies. That's salt. That's not what we need. I will trade you anything, literally, uh, except for the grandfather clock. No, we don't even have that. So I, w I will. There, got rid of an ox. We don't even have that many pounds to pull anymore. So have to trade to make sure we don't get scurvy. Some more fruit here. Two oxen. Oh, that's a little steep. No, I can't do that. Oh, grandfather clock. Tempted. No! Curse you, holding on to your grandfather clock. Couldn't trade you all my oxen. There we go. One more ox. We're down to eight oxen. Um. The wheels are there for a reason. Well, that guy said it was a good idea, so... My, all for taking advice. Soda springs pretty. Yeah, I know, right? You never I see Coca-Cola so in the far, wild. This is the most amazing. Tell me more. The springs seem to spout at regular intervals. Quite a wonder of nature. You read about morale is high. I have no idea, Chico. Actually, get to see him yourself. I have no idea it why morale is high. Just to rest and Maybe it's because we're at the Soda walking. Springs, you know. When I get we can to our new home, drink, I have a you know, bed, Mountain and Dew and Coca-Cola and Pepsi, the natural Soda Springs. That's not really what the soda means, but still! Raise morale. Hey, look, more more veggies for one ox. You got a deal. I don't even need this many. Um, the Hudspeth Cutoff. No, that's not the where we want to go. We still want to go to Fort Hall, I think. Red, you have a bad cold. Hooray, Red! What do you want to do about it? Red, the last child. Feeling coughing, headaches, runny nose, sneezing, and sore throat. Gavin, if I could trade the sheath, I would. I don't even know if I still have it, for that matter. I haven't bothered to check. It doesn't really matter. If someone wants to trade for it, though, they can have it. For anything, basically. Fluids? You got it. We are basically sprinting, though, so no time to slow down. We have a very limited amount of food left. Raft River. Looks fairly deep to me. I say we float across. Use a raft? Alright. We will. Caulk the wagons and float. And here we go! The California Trail Junction! I say California's the place we ought to be That's heading. the place that we're supposed to go! Both ways west. Both ways are west. Maybe we better cons- Alright. So the California Trail we go. West end of the Hudspeth Cut- I could've taken the Wuds- Okay, so I could've taken the Hudspeth Cut off as a shortcut to get to the California Trail, but, uh... Knowing me, it would probably have some dangerous things that I'd probably die from, but, uh, yeah, probably best I didn't do that. Maybe we better can- No, I know which way to go. We're going to California. <laughs> well then, Team Red, you are still cold, apparently. Perk was five. Yeah, I think they were perk. Alright. Team Red, you are still sick. You know what? We'll try to rest for three days. The most I can do, Red. The most I can do, Shiko. Three days as we get to the City of Rocks. Let's keep go You got it. We're gonna keep on going. Lubricate the children. Okay. Now, we want to go to the California Trail. Here is the Granite Mountain. Fairly steep. 
I need someone to tell Whenever me how to get across. Would... No, that's not useful. We're in need of a good rest. I'm yeah, I know what I hear you. Travel, and the animals are in want of extra feed. No, screw the animals. Some folks Just eat them. all worried, afraid we might get caught in the winter snow. Oh, I mean our oxen. But we still ought to rest. Rome winter snows, it's day, June. And one more day on it the is June. Make a bit of difference. Lady, we're going to be fine. I don't Get know what idiots are telling stuff. you that we're going to we'll reach winter. Enough. Trip won't get any. Yeah, shut up. Okay, these people are idiots. We need to double team. There we go. And anchor down. There. That's how we do it. Screw everyone. Oh, God. We apparently lost our spare wagon wheel I bought. And I suck at repairing things. So, two oxen is the price for a spare wheel, apparently. So, we're down to five oxen. Which means we can't really lose any more. Hello, stranger. I'm Martin Isaacs, originally from New York City. That's wonderful, you Isaac. From looking at me now, I guess. Yeah, you look kind of like a hillbilly. A so. man offered me a grand opportunity to see the world. Just a man. Visit some curious places. Did he ask you to strip my naked? Mind and pocket. So I signed up for this journey. Probably he did. I'm a city boy. Didn't know what I was getting into. Do you have any advice? This river looks like it could be treacherous. You think it's one the foot deep? Don't we can literally just walk cross. through it. We may build a raft and try taking them across. No, that, that sounds way. like a wonderful idea. I don't think I'd try fording, you're, but you're... I'm not always the best judge of that. Yeah, no, you're really not. It's it's one foot deep. One and a half. No, we're fording, idiot. Um, immigrant pass. Here we go. Uh, we don't need to take the Hastings cutoff. We can just stay on the California Trail. Is it really colding? The wording sounds odd. Uh, yeah, that does wording to sound odd. I think it's global cooling is the word he was she was looking for. He Chico's a guy. He was looking for. I never see Chico though. I was thinking it's a whatever. Team Blue, you have a cold. You caught Red's cold. Good news. Uh, we can slow down, increase your rations, increase your fluid intake, or get some advice. We do not have any more olive oil apparently. They'd better take care of themselves. Bad cold. We're not taking the the Hazen cutoff doesn't even go in this direction. Worse. Literally, that's the end of the Hastings cutoff. There's no point to take it at this point. We'd end up going to Salt Lake City if we did, I think. Fluids? You got it. Now, here's the Gravely Ford of the Humboldt River. See if any this other idiots... River doesn't look too deep. Now, this Let's is a it. very wise woman. Not deep, we ford. Easy. See the decision? So simple. This may be our last chance for a while to buy your... Too bad I have two cents, man. Well then, blue... All right, we're gonna try to keep these guys alive. So we can rest for three days for you. I rested three days for red. I don't. I want to be fair. Three days for blue as well. Morale is still high. Yes. Layson's Meadows. We're gonna gather some hay for our animals. There we go. At least they can eat this now. This place is called Lassen's Meadows. Yeah. I hear it's named after Peter Lassen. Who there you go. Education right parts. there. Well, if I understand it right, this is where the old Applegate Cutoff. I remember that. From the That's what the uh, California Trail now, used to be. No, the Applegate Cutoff is where you go to uh, My, but the Jacksonville. More in most Jacksonville, spots Oregon. That's it. Depends on where we're headed. If we're going to California, going to California. I reckon we ought to keep going southwest. But if we're of a mind to go to Southern Oregon, we should woman. take the cutoff. There you go. Uh, you should amputate the snake. Clearly. Amputate the river. See, amputations seem to always work. Um, so yeah, we're going to California Trail, and we do not want to take the Applegate Road, which will head to, I recommend that we back take to Oregon. Some time to put up some hay for the animals. Uh, wait, we're still not low on our rations? I guess not, X, but we only have three survive. people eating right now. So, at least there's that. Uh, Big Meadows. Apparently we have some more hay. There we go. Why not? Humboldt Sink. Maybe we better consult our guidebook before... Is there two different routes? Oh yeah, there is. A tricky route and the Carson route. Does anyone else have anything to suggest... say about that? Maybe. All right, guidebook it is. Advice. No, uh, that's what I wanted. Draft animals, no contents. Here we go. Uh, let's see if I can look it up. Itinerary. Not the Hastings Cutoff. The last... No, we're at the Humboldt Sink. No, it's not telling us. It doesn't think it has any information about this. The Carson route. Here we go. Wait. Uh, where is that? Humboldt Sink. The Carson route proceeds south from Humboldt Sink. Deep sand follows, and you can turn into patches of quicksand following the occasional heavy rains. Um, alright, so that explains the Carson route. So, I guess... 
Alright, so, you know what? Alright guys, we're going on the trucky route or the Carson route? Go ahead and type in the chat which one you want to go on. I, I will wait until five people say either Trucky or Carson. And uh, we'll go with the majority. What would you do that the poor, poor gun? I guess. Carson, Trucky. Trucky, Trucky. Everyone wants to go on the Trucky route. Oh, and I went on the opposite and it broke a wagon wheel. That was a misclick. Uh, turn around. No. Oh. Oh, oh, God. I know. Very dusty. I'm turning around now. No. People wanted to go to the Trucky route. My bad. See, I, I made it better. There's the 40 mile desert. Keep back. You ain't a. Sure. Uh, I did hit travel by day, didn't I? Totally did. And we don't have any meat. Eh, might want to trade for that. Probably not going to die of berry berry, but just in case. Let's buy some meat. Get you guys nice and neutralized, or neut nutritionized, that's what I wanted to say. Not enough meat there, man. Only two pounds of it. Uh... I don't know if we have any... No one here seems to have meat. Carson route sounds innocent. No grass, no meat, no water. Sounds a lot like death, doesn't it? Good thing we have water kegs, hopefully still. Uh, we did buy them. Whether we have them or not. I haven't seen anyone, you know, die of uh, thirst yet, so... Or get close to that. I've never seen... I haven't seen someone dying of thirst. So it probably means we still have some water kegs. Pounds of bacon. That's meat. Four pounds for one... Our one water keg. We have one water keg left. I just saw... So, yeah, that's not particularly good. No one has food anymore, god, they all lost it like we did. Salt pork, there we go. One spare wagon tongue. I just traded it, so of course it's probably going to break... now. Two blankets and uh, 20 pounds of salt. I'll take that. We need a rest. No, I think we're good. Everyone's good, except for Team Blue. But, uh, you know, Ender, that's fine. Um... Fallen rocks, we will try to clear it. And we succeed. They get into the trucky methods. Howdy. You know, I've been trapping and trading trucky in meadows. PCR mountains for near 20 years. No, you haven't, Grandpa. You've been with us the whole time. Thunderation. Thunderation. Well, a young grizzly invited oh, this guy. To breakfast. <laughs> this text is great. Bit me right on the no, Grandpa, that never I happened. I reckon I'm not no. going to take that from man or beast. So I bit it right back. That thar bar ain't bothered bar? soul sense. That, that's some nice pronunciation, if Grandpa. If in some of your party take the scurvy, feed him a bit of raw wild onions. Yes, Gramps. We, we will. Works near well as we will give you some wild too. onions. There you go. The cure to scurvy is wild onions. Listen to Grandpa, they know. Um, two pairs of mittens. Well, it's a lot of abandoned wagons. A lot of people died around here, so. Glory be. Have their death is our. Like them? No, I have not. I the Sierra the Nevadas. They're tall, pretty but big. I do believe these here Sierras are even taller. Tell me I more. I figure we got no choice but to try to cross them. Lord uh, knows it'll yeah, be the rough on the What poor are we gonna do? Go back. Though. I only have five oxen left. After Hopefully they'll be okay. The mountains, we're near the end of our journey. We're almost there, Maybe guys. Now is a good time to lighten our wagon loads. It'll make it easier on the draft animals, that's for sure. For sure. Alright, the way looks steep. And double teaming worked for once. We make it to Donner Lake. I don't know which way we should go. No one wants to which talk about this. West? Kid, you're going west. We'd stay on the main trail by going north of the lake. Good to know. I don't know which way we Damn it. Alright, well... <laughs> what does our guidebook have to say about the cold steam pass route? Uh... Does it have anything to say about it? Oh god. Salt Lake cut off. Sublet cut off. I don't even know if this is organized at all. Oh, it's a bit cut off. I don't see it. Oh, here we go. The cold steam route. Donner Lake, rough trail follows. Cold Steam Canyon, a rugged uphill climb through the canyons toward the pass. Rough trail follows from the Cold Steam Pass. Okay, so it mentioned that. Uh, Summit Valley, here's where the Cold Steam Mountain is with the main trail. Alright guys, leave in the chat. Five, five, 
votes. Majority wins. First one to get to three. Do you want to go let's continue with the trucky route? Or we're going to the Cold Steam Pass. Which way you guys want to go? We have that choice now that we got here to Donner Lake. Yeah, just kind of sound like Final Fantasy Tactics, actually, but... No, you know, Oregon Trail 2 also has, you know, pretty good uh, music. I see two truckies, two cold steams, one trike. I don't know what that is. Cold steam. I see three cold streams. We're going to cold stream. Cold stream canyon. Anyone want to talk about this? Good to see you, friend. Oh, it's that you guy from friend? New York. That's wonderful. Whenever we noon... No one cares. This hill looks mighty steep. Yeah, this there you go. Good, good advice there. Uh, we made it. Cold Steam Pass. I Anyone want to talk about... No, yeah, not you, Natalia. The no, Yankovic. Oh, well. I think we got back to the Summit Valley, though. We need main road to Truckee Meadows. That's where we want to keep going, I think. Road to Johnson's Ranch? Wait, where the hell is Johnson's Ranch? Uh, what's this way? I want to go to Johnson's Ranch, damn it. I'm taking an executive decision. What's up, Johnson? Oh no! Go back! No, I want to talk to Johnson. Ah, what's up, Johnson? I have two cents, I can't buy anything. Nice to talk to you, Johnson. Uh, let's see who's around. Howdy, we're having delight I don't know why, there's no Saw mountain the here. Prettiest flowers lined away That's wonderful. We're gonna turn around again. Ah! There we go, wild vegetables. I think she means sleeping or something, I don't know. Or resting. I think it's, it's it's some kind of word for rest. Oh, am I going the right way? No, we, we definitely are. Here's Sutter's Fort. Let's visit the fort. Wait a minute. No, I don't want to wait for you. Hey, what say you? We have. No, we're not having a wingding ding or a fandango. It's been a good long time. No, since we've no, had no, a regular no. Fandango. Goodbye. This might be a good place to rest a while. What do you mean? Just what I said. We've done enough traveling. Everyone time wants to have fandangos. Yeah, we're almost to Sacramento. We can have your fandangos and wingdings yeah, when we get to Sacramento. Let's stop here to. No, no, we're leaving. Going to Sacramento. Oh, really was right there. See what I tell you. We're good. We're good. Oh, you did not miss XCOM. We didn't do XCOM today. All right. We're rewarded with 1,100, or sorry, 1,016 acres. Not shabby at all. 18,000 points! That is a really solid score. With three deaths? My god. What did we get all these points from? Oh, we got it from being a tailor. Good multiplier there. Um, apparently, uh, it's a hard round. I don't know. But there we go. Unused skill points. Yeah. In 1850. The Kilinacho built a home on my 1016 acres of Ameri of land in the American River Valley of California. Despite some hardships, I proved extremely prosperous, steadily acquiring more land, becoming a leader in the growing community. During the late 1800s, the Kilinacho wrote a best-selling book about his experiences on the Oregon and California trails, and, widely recognized as a prominent pioneer, became a popular guest speaker at civic ceremonies and luncheons. And that has been the Oregon Trail. And we finally did it. That did it. We knocked off Alessia Steffens. The default... The default top scorer in the game. Off the list of legends at last. We did it, guys. Um, Alessia Steffens is no more. The list of legends is all me, damn it. I am the only legend around here. So, yeah. Not a bad score. It's fairly up there. I don't know which one... I don't remember what the other numbers were, but... What are those two? We'll never reach those glitch salt runs where we have those salt zeppelins that we served an absurd number of points. My best real score was this 23,590 run. This, this uh, was a glitch that gave me basically negative weight, which factors into the score at the end, uh, obviously. More than you would uh, be able to get. But yeah, we reached our destination. There we go. Thanks, Stump. Or Stump. Stump Dodio. Nacho party. No, it's not my party. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. That was the last game today. Um, floating salt. Yeah, it's some kind of bug. We tried to trigger it again one time, but basically we discovered that if you buy a ton of salt, like a literal ton of salt, I, I'll have to remember. I can't remember which, which run that was. 
Or actually, there was two runs that happened, two in a row. But we bought like a ton of salt, and when we went hunting, the process that turns into salt pork somehow like it rolled over, and we got like negative pounds of salt pork, which literally provided us negative weight, aka salt zeppelins. That Baron Baconier came up with the name. Well, the flying moose was a different run altogether, Baron. That was when uh, Chris Evans, uh, Doctor Doom IQ, was playing. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Stump is fine. There we go. Yeah, I haven't been able to trigger it since. It happened twice in a row, and we've not seen it since. I don't know. I'll have to find. You can dig through the old Oregon Trail 2 archives um, and try to find it. You can probably just skip to the end and see what the high score list says. Uh, you know, if they fi the, my 5,000, 50,000 runs, it happened before then. If you don't see them, then it happened after that point. Anyway, guys, see you later. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Bye.